Hi, my name is Rachel. Glad you could make it. So yesterday, May 22nd, 2018, I finally filled out this entire five-year journal. This is the Happiness Project one-sentence journal. And the way it's set up is that for each day, like June 12th, I have just fill out for five years what you did that day. Essentially for me, this was like a summary of what I did every day, just in a few lines. So I began this journal May 22nd of 2013. I was 18 years old at the time, and now I turned 23 in a few days, and it's all done. Like, I didn't lose it. There were days maybe I like didn't fill it out that day, but I always went back and filled it up. And I thought it would be really fun to just flip to random pages in this and like see if I can actually remember what I was writing about. I'm excited to see what's in here. And also I thought while I do it, I would have a lovely fruit salad snack. And I'm sure I'm gonna like squirt this everywhere. That's what he said, she said, gross. Not that this is gross. Gross to that sex joke I just made. Let's start where we began. My first entry, you finished high school and got drunk with and and I had chicken fingers from Swenson's. Love the detail here. So that was my last day of high school. I wasn't actually like going to high school at this point. I was doing it online. Oh yeah, actually. So I got this book from the tutor I had for my online school, Carol shout out she was amazing she like loved me obviously because she gave me this journal 2016 filmed all day got sunburned what was i filming i think i was filming this like web series i'm just gonna flip to a random spot and see where we go march 16th on 2014 i made play-doh in the lounge sounds like a dorm activity that i participated in 2015 march 16th had to have an energy drink to stay awake in a lot of pain Feel panicky. That sounds not good. October 4th, I slept over and it was really nice, smiley face. <laughs> Don't know what that means. June 22nd, oh. It was grandpa's memorial and I fought with and feel like shit. Oh, ooh, June 22nd, that seems to be a hard day repeatedly. 2014, miserable day at work. That's it. The times where I like barely wrote anything, that was when I was like really going through it. November 24th, slept, didn't do much, dot, dot, dot. Sounds like a solid depression day. 2014, feel like shit, fuck everything. <laughs> Yikes. 2014, literally slept all day and I don't know why. It's because you were depressed. 2016, yoga, saw Moana with mom. Love that. Mr. Spectacular premiere. That was a web series. Uh, wasn't invited to the after party. <laughs> Sad, watched Last Man on Earth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I remember that. Like I knew everyone was having an after party and I tried to like bring up like, so what are you guys doing after? And everyone's like, oh, I don't know. Like very clearly did not invite me. September 11th, 2013, I felt like I was going to pass out all day and I was confused and lethargic and slept for 13 hours. What was going on there? 2015, this was a big day. Got dinner with my sister. Want to be vegan now. Cause we watched Cowspiracy and yeah, September 11th turned into a good day. There's so many times I've written the word yoga and therapy in this book. October 21st, 2013, Wanted to KMS, which meant kill myself, because of a dumb colloquium paper. Love you, Pass Rachel. We're here for you. You made it. November 2nd, 2013. Tattoos and silk wraps. Ah! That's when I got this tattoo. September 30th, 2013. I failed my psych exam and I talked to my mom about how my mind can't handle all this and now I might fucking drop out of college. I was messy. But I pulled through and I graduated and I did it all. March 30th, 2015. Fuck, Louis went after Naughty Boy, so Naughty Boy released a solo demo of Zane. What the fuck? <laughs> this was when the One Direction drama was happening and I was like fully like zooming in on all the One Direction drama because I was a mess mentally and like caring about that is like what got me through my day. It was like, let's focus on their drama because I cannot focus on my own drama. The next year wasn't much better. 2016, feel awful, hard to move, 
class, ate nothing, going to bed really early, want to die. Eee! I ain't meaning now, all is well. 2015, April 8th, skipped class again, called my therapist, went home, but too afraid to tell mom and dad about everything. Yeah, so that week in April, I was just like not going to my classes at all, and would just sit in my car all day, eating junk food and being on Vine and Twitter. And I would sit in a parking lot that was like on campus so I could get the Wi-Fi, so I could do that. Wild times, guys, so much has changed. I'm just thriving compared to past Rachel. She was going through it. October 19th, 2013, I hung out at home, crippling loneliness. But then compared to that, 2017, class, rehearsed with at house, taught at yoga lounge, agenda, new moon in Libra, meditated outside. Love that character development, guys. December 2nd, 2014. I can't focus on anything. I'm going to fail chem. I fucking hate college. What a mood. July 9th, 2013. I broke up with It was rough. But then I saw Lion King with and it was amazing! Like Lion King on stage. October 31st. Let's go over Halloween. 2013, came to Ohio, but she got wasted and fought a random girl. 2014, had a horrible talk with Joel. He told me he did not love me. And then I went to see him like nothing was wrong. That was probably like the worst Halloween ever. I was driving and we were on the phone. We were like starting to have issues. He was my boyfriend and I was like, do you even love me? Like, did you mean it when you said it? And he said, no. <laughs> and I was crying so hard that I almost like drove off the road. Like I was a mess. And then he was like saying sorry and that he still cared about me and like invited me over and we like it was so weird we broke up like a week later damn november 4th 2014 i'm exhausted anxious and so ready to die <laughs> Shit. november 12th 2014 or november 12th was a bad day okay 2013 i got in my first real car accident that's when i got in a fender bender 2014 when I broke up, it was long, there was a ton of crying, and things still felt confusing. Yeah, I remember that. May 25th, 2013. On your birthday, you went to Lux Nightclub and you drank a lot of champagne. Lux Nightclub was awful. It was just like the only nightclub I knew about that accepted 18 year olds, so we went there. It wasn't fun, but we had champagne that I drank, and I was drinking it out of a camelback bottle and you can't put carbonated things in there and I remember like I opened it and it just exploded and champagne got all over my face and my shirt. Yeah, so I think that's enough of going through that. As you can see, I've, a lot has happened in five years. A lot has changed in five years. I'm not writing like I want to die everything in my journal anymore and I think that's really cool. I thought about repurchasing this journal and like doing it again. But at this point now I'm doing daily like long form journaling where I just do like stream of consciousness for three pages every day. But I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm happy it's done and I finished it. Like I remember when I got it, I was like, ugh, now I have to do this for five years. There are times where I thought about quitting it and I would, you know, not write for a few days, but then I would go back and fill it all out because I wanted to have it all done. The only pages that are empty is like they have a spot for leap day. Yeah. So that was my five year journal and I ate all my oranges. There's a little, there's one piece of peach left. Love citrus, shout out to her. And it had little quotes on each day. Reject your sense of injury and the injury itself disappears. Marcus Aurelius. Thank you journal. Thank you me for filling it out. And thank you Carol Neff, my tutor. Why did I point to the sky? She's not dead, at least I don't think so. I don't know, I haven't talked to her since she gave it to me. All right, thanks for being here. Bye.